Hey everybody, so yes, power steering on a motorcycle. I, I read that headline and was like, what? I saw, I saw an article the other day. Basically, Yamaha are developing a power steering system for motorcycles. And the first instance that they're going to use this is going to be soon in an all Japanese motocross championship, but they are looking to, to you know, use it across different types of machines. And at first I was like, what, what, why? And then when I read a bit more about it, it was like, that actually is pretty clever. It's kind of got like two or three uses. So what it is, is like a stepper motor up on the head of the motorcycle, which is then connected to the steering and can actually be, you know, it's, it can steer the bike. It's got power there to do it. But it's, it's, not, it's not going to steer for you as such. So like the functions that it can be used for, or it will be used for, is naturally it can work as a like an active damper. So like you have a sort of a dumb damper that just slows down the steering and stops it whipping back and, back and forwards you know, like a tank slapper. It's actually going to actively control that so it can dampen it down. So rather than it just relying on you kind of recovering and, and it not going too quick with the damper going backwards and forwards, it's actually actively going to control that and get rid of it if it can. It will also act like a stability system. I mean, you actually are going to get power assisted steering as it were. So that can reduce rider fatigue over time. And it also can correct, you know, bigger, say like the damper, but like the opposite of a damper, it's actually constantly actively trying to control the wheel to keep it right. So it's like active dampening stability control in one. And one of the added benefits of this is that you could then increase or decrease the steering angle of the bike you know, uh, rake, basically. If you bring the wheel up towards the bike, you get a very pivoty steering, a bit like a supermoto, where it's very light and very wobbly. Uh, sports bikes have it further out, so you get a much more sort of dead ahead feeling. And choppers have it way out there, you know, cruisers. So the wheel almost feels like it wants to flop left to right. So if you make the steering very light and reactive, like this on a supermoto, it's something you have to be aware of because you the, you really have to keep the bike straight. The front end can want to jump around a bit. It's very loose and easy to overcorrect and you know have issues there. But with this electrical system controlling that, you can have it in a place where it would normally be unusable because it'd be too flicky and too un, you know too close to being out of control, like a fighter jet that is controlled by all the different systems. You know, by making it unstable, makes it very, very maneuverable. Please have some E5, that's the only reason I'm, I'm here. Well, I want E5, Mum, we've got E5 at home. <laughs> what are we paying? 175 a litre. It's cheaper than it was. So you can see there that this steering system is actually quite a clever multifunction idea for the cost of a small, talky little motor, electric motor up in the headstock. Oh, hang on. Trip. Trip reset, trip reset, trip reset. <laughs> now, I know some people are not going to necessarily like the idea of this, because if you think about it, we're getting at a point now that a motorcycle has got, you know, traction control, cornering traction control, slide traction, you know, control that allows you to slide, um, cornering ABS, anti-wheelie, if you add in, you know, like active dampening and power assisted steering and even algorithmically controlled, you know, like, like for the race teams, for instance, you know, they can corner by corner have the system set up to take the corner they want. So it, you know, as the bike knows where it is, it's going around the track, it's slowly uh, adapting itself for each corner, which is nuts. And it's, uh, you know, it, as I said, I said many years ago, I think we will see robotic AI controlled MotoGP in the future and it will be absolutely amazing because it will be doing stuff that humans never could or we say never could it will, uh, maybe to a level humans will never want to push themselves because you're going to probably die before you get that good or maybe even the, just the the physical effort required to do it uh, I think that'd be very cool to see in the future but people don't want to see that yet and as I say if you've got all those systems they could be working together and you're now getting to a point where you're like how much is rider skill well, if everyone's on the same bike with the same control systems, then it's completely 100% rider skill still. But we all know that different teams have different uses and that some are better than others. The question that comes there is, are they trying to make it easier for the rider so they don't need the best rider in the world? Or if you use the best rider in the world on that bike, are they gonna win everything? So it is very early days still, but with such a small adaptation to the bike with all of these extra added benefits, including getting rid of the normal steering damper, even if they used it for active damping, that would be more effective than, than you know, the, the dumb damping, as it were. 
I can really see it becoming a thing that is used. And of course, with that means that one day you will see it on a road bike. Now, for fun, in the comments, don't cheat here, why don't you go and put a make and model of a bike that you would expect it to be the first bike that it's going to appear in. I'm going to give my guess in a second, but give yours. Go on. Do, 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 do. do. You're probably pausing because it takes too long. Do, 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 do. Okay, right. Let's see if we're the same. BMW GS 1200-1250, you know, that size bike, that model of machine. It will be one of those because it will be big enough to hide it away. BMW love shoving as many different active systems and different things as you possibly can into a bike. Uh, and they're normally one of the first to do it because they're normally a bit ahead of the game because of the f various reasons. That's my prediction. I think that this technology, is, even though it's very, very early, I think it seems like it could be very good and I could see a lot of it, it being easily sold to people. I mean, if you can help sell a bike by sticking sodding winglets on it, then an active steering damper system is definitely going to pull people's money out of their pockets. And of course, this will get onto things like the S1000RI, you know, it's just another top trump thing to add on to the list of things that you can tell people the bike does while you drink coffee, coffee or tea next to it. I'm joking! I'm joking, I'm playing on a stereotype, I'm sorry, I know very, a lot of S1000RR owners are very good riders. Just jesting. Look at me, I'm 36 and riding a kid's dirt bike around. Anyway, I've got my fuel that I needed. Now I need to go and get some food and I'm going to pop back home. Uh, just a little mini update, not a lot to report. Come on. Well, the problem is where you are is now blocked the road, you see. If you were already over before, you could have seen around that vehicle. But that would be intelligent. Let's not go onto that again. Let's this car woosa woosa. I'm still back and forward with the doctors at the moment. Um, having good days, having not so good days. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm doing what I can as and when I can. You know, I'm not pushing myself too far to do anything. I have to be active, uh, but I'm also giving myself the time to sort of recover and, and not push myself when I don't feel like it um, physically. As always, a massive thank you to the support of my patrons who make this channel possible. And uh, also, we are very nearly 1,000 subscribers. It's like 1,050 or something. Uh, might be 1100 uh, away from a hundred thousand it is insane it is crazy it is going to happen this year it's going to happen in the next couple of months i probably should get to putting that nail in the wall for the silver play button knowing my luck youtube <laughs> youtube will go yeah we're not doing play buttons anymore like two days before i hit a hundred thousand you watch you watch <laughs>